love our dogs in Colorado, and of course we enjoy taking them along the outdoor adventures too. Hiking and walking trails is especially popular this time of year, and that's why, my friends, we are so happy to have our very own Jeffco Ranger here, Marianne Bennell. Always fun to have her on the show. Along with Marianne Bennell is Ranger Sean, Hi. and then Bark Ranger Baxter, which has the cutest underbite. He's like this, half the underbite. <laughs> <laughs> thing. So talk about the basics that I need to absolutely have before I hit the trail. Well, we always want to make sure our visitors have a leash with them. That's yes. the first thing is make sure you've got a leash. Also, make sure that you've got your poop bags with you so that you can pick up after your dog. And if you don't want to carry that around and have that smell, make sure you've got your wagon loads so you can carry it out. And then also make sure you've got a water dish for the dogs so because important. we stay hydrated, they need to stay hydrated. Yep, that's true. And yeah. don't think that it'll just, the waste of the dog will just disappear. It's no, not going to. it causes so many hazards on the trail. Mm -hmm. Speaking of hazards, we need to be aware of some. I mean, we like to play with our fun furry friends outside, yep. but there are a lot of tragic accidents that could happen. There are, and that's one of the reasons why we recommend a leash. It, you know, on the really sort of mild side is things like poison ivy. Your dog could get into poison ivy. Your dog could get into a cactus. The other thing is there's rattlesnakes, there's moose, which don't particularly care for dogs. You could have a bear, you could have a coyote. So again, we try to keep that dog leash. We try to keep that dog with us so that you don't have those hazards. And of course, we can suffer from overheating ourselves and also the dogs too. What, what should we do? Well, the first thing to know is that our dogs, the dogs do not sweat like we do. So you need to make sure that your dog is getting plenty of water. And if your dog starts to show signs of heat stress, which would mean slowing down, their tongue's hanging out, a lot of saliva, you need to stop. You need to get that dog some water and maybe even wet down a bandana and pat their ears and their groin and their armpits and their paw pads so they oh, can cool down. Very sweet. And that's why it's good to carry like a little bag like Absolutely. this. I mean, which doesn't cost very much at all. No. And you can just crunch it up and throw it in your pocket throw it or backpack. In your pocket and you don't worry about the dog that way. All right, Sean. So Baxter is so cute. Look at him. <laughs> oh, you know cute. your name. What's <laughs> Sean's, or what's Baxter's role? Baxter has a role where he helps teach, uh, actually he helps me teach visitors about trail courtesy and he also teaches kids about bite safety and dog safety. Oh, very nice. And so let's talk about some of those important okay. messages that you want our viewers to know before they hit the outdoors. Well, I think it's most important that people need to understand that we have more than six million visitors that come to the parks. Wow. So the first thing I want folks to remember is to love them and leash them. Marianne alluded to some of the hazards that are associated with that. That's extremely important. Mm -hmm. Second thing, keep them cool. Make sure you're bringing water for the dog. And the third thing, make sure you're, you're going to Let's do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. of yeah, course. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> so pick up the poo, carry it out, don't leave it on the side of the trail. It really is impactful not only to the natural habitat, but it's also impactful to other parts. Okay, I got your little pun. Yeah. Do, do it. it. Pick up the poo poo. <laughs> right. Okay, so, uh, you know, we're not the only ones out there on the trail. Correct. Our dogs are not the only animals. What happens if we run into an encounter with some other animals, like you said earlier? Well, again, the safest thing is if the dog's on a leash, mm -hmm. get that lead a little shorter, get the dog next to you, depending on the animal. If it's a rattlesnake, maybe even just retreat a little bit. Give that rattlesnake plenty of space and time to decide it wants to leave the trail. Something like a moose, again, get the dog closer to you. You're going to want to back out of that situation. We have had visitors encountering bears in the last couple weeks, um, particularly in the Lookout Mountain area. And so, again, if your dog's on a leash, that's a much safer scenario than if your dog's not on leash. My dog's not much smarter than a bag of rocks. So I'm pretty sure she would go after a bear, which would be a really yeah. bad Or a situation. coyote, right? Or a coyote. Mm -hmm. And so again, when the dog's on leash, you can bring that dog closer to you, mm -hmm. you can manage the situation, and you can get yourself out of there. There's also something we call trail etiquette. Yes. Okay, so yes. teach us our trail etiquette. What do we need to know? Well, with dogs, particularly, um, if you're on a busy trail, which again, our Jefferson County open space trails on the weekends are, are busy. So right. keeping that dog on a shorter lead, being aware that as you've got cyclists passing, they're going to want to not have your dog, you know, 15 feet away from you on a on an extendo leash. Um, also, making sure that you ask before your dog runs up to greet another dog. Some dogs are just not comfortable with other dogs running up to them, or even people for oh, that yeah, matter. Yeah, it would scare mm -hmm. me if a exactly. giant dog was running up to my little dog. You exactly, know? or your child. Mm -hmm. You know, so being respectful of other people's preferences around dogs is super important in a in a 
trail situation. Nobody wants to be a tattletale, but what do we do if they're not following trail etiquette? That's a great question. We ask our visitors to help us be eyes and ears, and we ask our visitors to go ahead and put the Jeffco non-emergency sheriff number in their in their phone. And if they do see somebody who's who's not behaving in a cur courteous way and is disobeying the law, that they can call the non-emergency number and they can give a very detailed description, and then we'll try to get a ranger on scene. Very nice. All right, Sean. Let's go back to you and Baxter. How can we follow Baxter and all the work that you two do? Well, Baxter has quite the following on Twitter. Yay! Uh, so <laughs> Twitter. Twitter. Uh, it's JCOS at JCOS Ranger Sean. Okay. So, so we could follow both of you on Twitter. Follow then. both of us. We've put all kinds of pictures out there, all kinds of good Very stuff. Very nice. Thank you, ladies. I Thank really appreciate so it. Thank you so much. This is important information. Again, listen up, Bark Rangers, and take proper care of your pup on the trail. Get more important updates, tips, even information about Jeffco Open Space Online. Jeffco.us slash parks. That's Jeffco.us slash parks. And you can follow Ranger Mary Ann Pinnell on Twitter, which is at JCOS Ranger 1, or you can follow Sean at JCOS at Ranger Sean. All right, be safe and plan your next outdoor adventure with the help of Jefferson County Open Space.